Barely weeks after Johnny Depp won the defamation trial in Virginia, Amber Heard is now trying to appeal the ruling in a rather shocking manner. So why is Amber appealing and what is so shocking about her appeal? Amber Heard's move to petition the court to file under seal numerous hearing and deposition transcripts in preparation to file an appeal has left fans wondering what she's trying to conceal. In the three-page document, there are several transcripts and depositions that have been filed under seal. Fans are now coming up with different theories as to why Amber has sealed those documents. I think Amber might be trying to hide something, one fan wrote. And then she'll say, there are dozens of depositions that prove me right, but are sealed so nobody can see it, a second fan pointed out. She can petition the court to allow her to appeal, but that's no guarantee she'll be allowed to proceed. Plus, she'll have to prove an error in the previous proceedings to qualify. Many have said she also has to pay JD first in Virginia before she can appeal at all. Someone needs to tell Amber she isn't in Hollywood in that Virginia courtroom, a third fan commented. Walter Hamada deposition to be filed under seal? She doesn't want his testimony to count on appeal. The one that shuts down her claim that Depp tried to get her fired and basically destroy the case for 100 million? She thinks people are stupid, a fourth fan commented. Meanwhile, other fans are simply wondering where Amber got the funds to appeal the case. Where is she getting the money for this when we all know she can't afford to pay Johnny? One fan commented and then went on to say, besides that, what appeal? The audio alone is enough so she will be found guilty again. Is she going to appeal the appeal until she gets what she wants? That will never happen. So what will happen if Amber actually goes through with the appeal? A lawyer has provided insight on the possible appeal process for the Aquaman actress. Mark Litwack, founder of Mark Litwack & Associates, stated that Heard must first prove that the judge made a serious error that made the trial unfair to her as part of any possible appeal. He also said that an appellate court does not review facts or the credibility of the witnesses and does not second-guess the jury's determination as which testimony is credible or not. According to Litwack, an appellate court would review the judge's actions and rulings during the case. If the court were to find that the judge improperly excluded evidence that affected the outcome of the case, that might lead to overturning the decision and ordering a new trial, Litwack said. He added that if a judge did not properly interpret the law, that could be grounds for an appeal. The star of the successful Pirates of the Caribbean film series had been seeking $50 million, claiming Heard defamed him in a 2018 op-ed published in the Washington Post. In her article, Heard wrote about domestic abuse but did not name the actor. However, Depp claimed that his reputation, as well as his career, took a hit as a result. The jury awarded Depp $10 million in compensatory damages, as well as $5 million in punitive damages. Heard was awarded $2 million in compensatory damages for a counterclaim that Depp's attorney, Adam Waldman, damaged her career when he accused her of creating an abuse hoax. In a statement following the jury's ruling, Heard said that the disappointment I feel today is beyond words and that she was heartbroken that the mountain of evidence was still not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. Heard's statement went on to mention how the ruling could have repercussions. I'm even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. It is a setback. It sets back the clock to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. It sets back the idea that violence against women is to be taken seriously, she said. Depp in an Instagram post after the ruling stated that the jury gave me my life back after six years and that he was truly humbled by the decision. Six years ago, my life, the life of my children, the lives of those closest to me, and also the lives of the people who for many, many years have supported and believed in me were forever changed. All in the blink of an eye, the statement began. It then went on to read, false, very serious and criminal allegations were levied at me via the media, which triggered an endless barrage of hateful content. Although no charges were ever brought against me, it had already traveled around the world twice within a nanosecond and it had a seismic impact on my life and my career. And six years later, the jury gave me my life back. I am truly humbled. Now we would like to hear from you. Do you think that Amber is trying to hide something in her appeal? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.